this aircraft featured in the, the, uh, the TV series We'll Meet Again and also in the remake of Mess Dispel that came out in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. But if you get a chance, look up the original Mess Dispel made by William Wyler, which actually shows real combat footage of the guys that flew these. And the one thing that strikes you was how young those young men were going out day after day, night after night, and, and flying those missions. Wonderful photo there for you, over the hangars. Yes, the age was extraordinary, as I said to you. Not one uh, 25 mission group, but two, that's 50 combat missions, then flew the P-51 Mustang because they wouldn't let him do another tour, but he wanted to be uh, with his beloved B-17. And eventually, as I say, he was killed. And he was just, having done all that, he was just 21 years old, first son of Serenade for the Big Bird. In 1980, Ted White and his family both formed the Sandy Beach Supporters Club. And it's those that have been raising huge amounts of money to keep this aeroplane flying. Look them up, Google them, have a look, and uh, get involved, because this is an important piece of history. Without public support, these wonderful examples of living history simply will become dusty relics in a hangar somewhere. And I think there's nothing sadder than seeing an aircraft, particularly an iconic aircraft like this, sitting in a museum with its mighty beating metal heart still and silent. Yep, they're noisy little devils, aren't they, the vamps? The widget historics just uh, diddling past us there. Yes. Now, Ted White had brought this aeroplane in from France. He was sadly killed in 1982 in a harbour crash. And that is why one cowling of the aeroplane is painted in the checkerboard in memory of him. That little goblin engine is a swine. It is. I'm convinced there's a goblin engine behind some of those um, hand drives you get in toilets now where they're really, really fierce. I'm convinced behind the wall is one of those. Dyson. There we have Andy Milliken going out in the Hurricane. They're going to be going back to Conningsby. Followed down the runway, of course, by uh, Andy Priest in the Spitfire in the markings. Old Neville Duke, who, of course, so was not in base here, but lived here. A wonderful man. Prior to going to France with uh, the Institut Geographic National, uh, the B-17 was used for a number of trials uh, in the US. At one point it had a man carrying pod on a starboard wingtip, also had an infrared tracking device, but they've got no references available of what it actually did, so I think it's all a bit secret as well. This is B-17G model, it's different from the earlier F by having an additional turret under the nose. And this was to counter the head-on attacks that were coming from the Luftwaffe. They found that if you came head-to-head -head with a B-17, rolled and then pulled so that you disappeared downwards, you had a better chance of scoring hits. 
So the chin gun was put in place to counter just that. During the uh, making of the remake of Memphis Spell, uh, a few people tried this, and both the B-17 pilots and the, uh, the Messerschmitt 109 pilots who were flying for the film said it was really scary. Ladies and gentlemen, the smoke is in commemoration of the 79,000 men that were lost. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, Peter Kuypers flying the aeroplane today. He also flies the, uh, the Dutch B-25. He's been flying this aeroplane for a number of years now, bringing it around to uh, uh, come in and land. Giving the residents of Cranley a good look as he comes over. Now we mentioned earlier on the uh, P1127, the early versions of the Harrier that did its tethered, tethered uh, hovering trials. Well, the aircraft over there are all parked on exactly where that happened. That's a little bit of concrete off to the side of the runway. So the B-17 coming in, flown by peace snipers, and a tribute to all of those people that flew during World War II, and a magnificent tribute to all of those people who have worked so hard to keep it flying. And a beautiful landing, look at that. Two point landing, Peter Kuypers, captain today, with one employee on the B-17. There we are ladies and gentlemen, give them a little grade, I'll see you at the uh, cockpit, holding the tail up all the way down the runway, wonderful. Great piece of flying, there we are, another piece of living history. So Melvin, what are we up to now dear boy? Dear boy.